Good evening. Welcome to Christ the King's Compline service for Friday, February 17th. We begin Compline on page 57. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Um, Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty God and Father, we confess to you, to one another and to the whole company of heaven, that we have sinned through our own fault and thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and by the power of your Holy Spirit, raise us up to serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God grant us forgiveness for all our sins in the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. We'll now have the scripture readings. The psalm this evening will be Psalm 31, verses 1 through 6, which is found on page 59. We say together, in you, O Lord, have I put my trust. Let me never be put to confusion. Deliver me in your righteousness. Bow down your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me and be my strong rock and house of defense that you may save me. For you are my strong rock and my castle. Be also my guide and lead me for your name's sake. Draw me out of the net that they have laid secretly for me, for you are my strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The scripture for this evening will be from Matthew chapter 6, verses 31 through 34. Therefore, do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep me, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Lighten our darkness, we beseech you, O Lord, and by your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. O God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep, and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We will now have the nunc dimittis. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, 
which you have prepared before the face of all people to be a light to lighten the Gentiles and to be the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may we, we may rest in peace. Bless, bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us this night and evermore. Amen. Amen. This concludes our Compliment service and our week's worth of morning prayer services. Thank you for joining us here at Christ the King. Look forward to seeing uh, you uh, for uh, Monday. Our, we won't have a service on Monday. Uh, we'll have it um, on Tuesday because of um, the office is closed for President's Day. So we'll be resuming our uh, YouTube videos on Tuesday. God bless you. And I hope to see you soon.